All right, guys. Welcome to the video. Anthony especially out here with Hawkeye Traders. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to take a quick look here at NVIDIA. I know we um, covered this not too long ago, but I think it makes sense to kind of revisit it. Just to reanalyze what is transpiring here on this high wide bar as we are currently finding some resistance upon retesting it. Right? And I know we didn't talk about this not too, too long ago, but as you can see, NVIDIA was on this parabolical, you know, move higher. And I mean, we just really didn't give it up here. I mean, just, you know, kind of running the paces and making our way higher. And it's not to say that we're done, all right? I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to come in and make any assumption here, but I think it's safe to say that if we're unsuccessful in taking out this prior high, this prior high is somewhat meaningful, uh, especially printing kind of a wide bar up here. You know, you can see we took a, a straight up run and even with the indices making some fresh highs, we have not been able to re-push this, which is a little bit concerning uh, as this was the leading stock uh, single stock in the, you know, on the market here. So, a little bit concerned. Uh, not a super strong sign. I would say if we fall through this, I don't know, what I call it, whatever this low here is. Let's see, we got a little consolidated state there. We break down below 118. You know, maybe we even come back to start filling some of these gaps, perhaps. This gap was just about filled, but there is still a gap here that needs to be filled. And if we break 118, roughly, um, particularly settle below that by at least 1% on a weekly basis, if you want the technical thought process, that's what would allow us here to kind of start retracing. Um, again, we have this gap fill, and we also have this prior high here off to the left, but notice the consistency with a high being placed with a Hawkeye wide bar, a low being placed with a Hawkeye wide bar, another high being placed by a Hawkeye wide bar. So I shoot this video just to tell you that, hey, at the end of the day, the only two things that matter are volume and price action. Um, the biggest component, which I believe is the most meaningful, is in fact uh, the Hawkeye wide bar really dictating you have strong selling at a high, at a new failure, you have a strong selling volume climax at the low, strong, not lack thereof, believe it or not, strong selling here at this high, and so far inability to push below. Now guys, I don't. there's nothing fancy on this chart other than the Hawkeye volume and price action. That's it. And I've been able to identify all those things. A significant high, a significant low, another significant high, by just blindly looking at the Hawkeye wide bar. Why is the wide bar so important? Right? Because it shows you visually that there is something abnormal in the market that perhaps a regular chart may not necessarily point out to you. So how powerful would it be to have piece of software that applies to most popular charting platforms, TradeStation, TradingView, NinjaTrader, MetaTrader, if you're trading stocks, futures, forex, cryptocurrencies, or options, whether you're day trading, swing trading, or position trading, that gives you the insight to say, hey, something's happening here, and I now need to more closely study the interaction between the volume and what the price is actually doing. Well, that's exactly what Hawkeye does. Why? Because these are the only things that matter, guys. You're, most of you are focused on so much garbage that you've actually lost sight of what you're a trying to do. Okay? I know that because I was that person at one point in my career. Right? I was looking for some indicator to dictate to me what to do when really what I needed was an indicator to dictate the thought process that I needed to instill so that I could understand what was happening when, why, and where. Okay? So now that 
I understand those things and I employ them on a regular basis, regardless of the time frame, regardless of the asset, I can look at almost any chart and depict these very specific areas that price did something unique that was highlighted by either a surge in volume or surge in price action or sometimes both and I can create a thought process that would lead me to believe hey perhaps this means that and now I can act upon it should it meet my trade plan criteria so I'd like to dive a little deeper into this concept and by doing that I'm gonna put a link below this video to a training webinar where I'll personally be there with you we'll dive deeper into this we will uncover okay what is happening when where and why and be able to really be you know put this action in and thought process into consistency right? and in doing so you're gonna probably end up doing what I did and that's removing all the stuff from your chart you're gonna have volume and price action which are the only two things I have on my chart why because those are the only two things that ultimately matter and in understanding that and in understanding the relationship between the two guys it will simplify and optimize what you're doing so I encourage you to click that link below join me in the training webinar let's dive deeper into this thought process let's get the indicators populating on your charts let's get you access to the Hawkeye volume mastery series let's get you understanding this unique relationship that triumphs anything and everything else that is out there on the market all right guys i will see you in the webinar i appreciate you thank you so much for being here god bless and i hope you have a wonderful day